Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley. And today, I did a thing. I went ahead and installed this wig without actually installing it with the glue. I gave you guys these baby hair realness. And as I mentioned, it's glueless. So this one is not bonded down. It's not even bonded down like with the extra hold hairspray. It literally is 100% glueless. I'm going to show you how I even, you know how you got to like bond down the frontal. It's not bonded down. It's just like tucked in the back. I'm going to show you my little cheat code for that. For the days when you don't want to bond your wig down, you got this big old ear tab flap. Let me put you on, sis. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Hey, queens. Jumping right into the video. Today, we're going to be working with RPG Show to bring you a beautiful two-toned ombre lace wig. It's going to be so beautiful, but starting with the packaging, this is what it looks like. And of course, you guys know they have superior packaging. It comes with the wig caps. You get your edge tamer, which is kind of like the wax that you guys see me use in every single hair tutorial. I'll be using theirs today. All of their uh, packaging is pretty much logo and bows and customized which I love so much here is a look at the wig itself I love that dark root and how it just makes the wig pop so much here's a look at the inside construction of the cap this one is set as a center part what's so beautiful about this wig is we're going to be doing it 100% glueless now sometimes I'll say glueless and you'll see me still spray something down and blow dry it and all of that yes that is still glueless but I'm still using an adhesive so it's like a cheat code in a way because it's no glue but today we're going to do no glue we're not going to blow dry anything down no liquid on the hairline we're literally just gonna customize the wig on the wig cap and then just literally take the lace off cut the excess lace off and then put her on our head and then literally that's it this one fits glueless yes so if you need a wig for your everyday viewing uh styling wearing pleasure this is going to be a go-to one for you and you'll see in just a moment i'm actually wearing this wig as i do this voiceover three days later and she's still just plopping on my head i can plop her off at night get in the shower put a bonnet on wake up in the morning and put her on my curls are still holding up very well so yeah this is one you need if you'd like to just wake up and go um you guys can see i'm going to go ahead and take the edge tamer that they provided and i'm just going to go ahead and put a generous amount along the hairline now a lot of people would say i use a lot of product if this were my real hair i definitely would never use this much product because my hair is very low density my hair is thin it's you know all of that so this would definitely weigh my natural hair down but when it comes to wigs i like my wig to be laid and slayed and i like my style to last a long time and i feel like this is a way to cancel out the flyaways to step out the parting and just to make everything look smooth flat sleek and it's close to growing out of my scalp as possible this little brush here is my favorite brush it's like a hard bristle brush and it really just works that product in and it really 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 just smooths the hair out like I like from there I'm going to use my electric hot comb and we're going to just go in and press out that parting the parting looked a little bit more uh, skimp before I just took a rat tail comb and just pretty much perfected the parting and took it as far back as it could go before it got to the tracks same with the hairline i'm taking that electric hot comb and i'm just going in and stamping out that hairline i've been doing this with you guys for maybe about two weeks so i'm sure you've gotten the hang of it if you watch all of my videos but this tutorial these steps are pretty pretty easy and this is how you get your wig to look laid and slate i don't care how thick it is how terrible the hairline is this is the way to make it look as flat and melted and make each individual wig look as best as it could now that i have everything done with the front which is literally the most important part to me as long as you've done that step you can literally put the wig on and go i recommend adding a little bit of serum i did off camera i don't know if you guys can see it my tray to the right on the second shelf there's like a purple uh serum i'll have it linked in the description box but that's been my current favorite to battle um or combat the fall season and kind of make sure that my hair doesn't frizz up when i go out into public so i did put a good amount of that into the hair before we got to the step i was undressed in the clip so i had to cut that out but now i'm just going in and doing some curls i am using a regular traditional curling iron this is not a wand curler but i'm using it like a curl curling iron if that makes sense so pretty much just opening up the barrel or the clip on the barrel and just wrapping the hair around you can close the clip while you allow the hair to um 
set and get hot once i was done with all of the curls i know you guys didn't want to see all of it but i did away from my face on one side and when we met in the center in the back i went the opposite way so that on both sides the hair is going away from my face i added a generous amount of my shapers and now i'm going to go in with the wide tooth comb and just kind of like comb the curls out and form the wave pattern that i want you can kind of use your hands and your comb and whatever you have handy to kind of just pretty much manipulate the curls to kind of get the hold you want and then I added a little bit more hairspray again it's Thanksgiving week here in the United States and I wanted to make sure that this wig is going to last me throughout the week not sure if I'm going to wear it on actual Thanksgiving day but just you know being around the house running errands doing some holiday shopping and decorating the Christmas tray getting ready for vlogmas in my vlog intro and just my business BDAC Beauty is coming very very soon sooner than you think I just wanted to make sure that um, I had a wig that I can just plop on my head and it looks good and the ends are good which is why I added extra hairspray this time around now we are using a sharp pair of shears i get mine from amazon and these are my favorite every time they get a little dull i'll just buy a fresh pair of these got your back they are in the description box just cut off all that <laughs> girl what i just cut off all of that elastic girl what are you talking about i just cut off all of that and i'm not cutting this part out i make mistakes but i just cut off all the excess lace put her on and we are good to go as you guys seen this one did have an adjustable elastic band underneath and that helps but the actual wig construction is really the key to making this one fit glueless this is a look at what the wig looks like from the back and as you guys can see it's flat to my head it's not loose it's not lumpy it's not bulky it literally fits and if you look at the hairline it looks like it's already bonded down so you guys know i'm not going to bond it down if i don't need to don't ever do more than you have to do honestly but i do want to have a little bit of pizzazz and fun so i did stamp out this little um baby hair as you guys can see here i don't do baby hair as often as i used to i try to keep it as subtle as possible i try to do mousse but um it just wasn't slicking down so you can do mousse and put the elastic band on top or you can do edge control this one comes from amazon so i'll have it in the description box but just look how flat and melted the hairline looks without even melting anything down literally no melting involved also look at how amazing it blends with my skin i didn't add any powder any concealer or anything okay love bugs i am officially done with this look and more importantly i am officially in love with the curls that i did and you know typically i will use my con air i believe this is con air i'll have a link down below but i'll use this wand curler for my curls and i've been wanting something similar but different so i just ran into my storage and got out my baby this curling iron haven't played with this baby in a little while but i love the way the curl came out and I did do something different as you guys notice instead of like taking the hair gripping it on there and twirling it up I kind of just wrap it around like a wand curler if that makes any sense and I think that made a huge difference with um, the outcome of my curls they definitely have a lot of bounce and body but still are very defined a lot more defined than my curls usually are when I curl my hair myself now this one did come from RPG show and I love that it was a very beginner friendly wig I didn't even install it on the side so you can barely tell what I did was I just took the lace and this is something I do often especially when I wear frontals now you guys seen first of all I did add the baby or the uh adjustable elastic band in the back i made it um, as tight as it can go so whenever you do that it'll kind of make the for some reason when you have that elastic band super tight back there underneath for some reason it'll take that side burn hair and kind of like pull it back with it so you, it'll be a little bit harder to like pull it all the way forward if you really want that side burn baby hair just go ahead and take the wig off and unstrap that adjustable elastic band and then the hair will pull forward and you'll be able to rock it there so if you ever notice that you have that in and you feel like your wig is too small it's not too small take the band off the band is making it smaller or tighter uh hence why we take it off this little tab will pull all the way to the front hopefully that makes sense oh but i was showing you guys so a lot of the times when my wigs um like you know i'm hopping up to run errands and stuff and i don't want to like lay my frontal as long as it fits from like here to here you're good because what i do is i will just take and tuck as much of the lace as i can and then i'll kind of like feather 
the hair to kind of like swoop around that as much as possible and then although like my hair and the wig hair are two different textures it'll kind of just for the sake of doing what it needs to do kind of like blend and again you just kind of like tease that over you can do it a little bit neater and flatter than i just did but um yeah this is my go-to little cheat code when i want to just you know run out the house and run errands and i don't really necessarily feel the need to go in and like lay my wig but i have to have something on my head you guys see i did the same thing on the opposite side now as i mentioned this one is on glueless and when i say glueless i literally mean if you want a wig that fits that you don't have to bond it down if you're a low maintenance type of girl uh when it comes to like your everyday i highly recommend a wig from this line just because you definitely will be able to genuinely wear it without any glue like even when you want to get like super dressed up and like makeup and you feel like you need to go the extra step only reason you'll have to bond it down is like if you're getting on a roller coaster or something where you know you want to make sure it's a little secure you're going on a boat or something like that but yeah don't really tuck your heads off i love this wig i love the color i love how it holds a curl i love the dark root and i love the fact that i was able to pull this one off glueless and with no concealer in the parting for a more natural look if you're interested in her of course i have her linked in the description box be sure to also check out all the holiday sales they have going on i'm ashley b deck if you are tuning in for the first time don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends put them onto my videos so their hair can be laid as well and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches